Hey, what's going on? Jeff Lerner here. And I want to talk about stretching ourselves. I want to talk about pushing ourselves, challenging ourselves, why we should do it, why other people don't do it, and why I think the world would just be a whole lot better place if we would get off our butts and strain against something. Let's, let's exert ourselves, okay? Why don't people want to grow? Why is it that we go through the early part of our life uh, being told that learning is essential? Learning is fun, hooked on phonics, right? Like we learn to read, we learn math. Then we reach a point whether some of us it's at you know 18 some of us at 22 some of it's in our late 20s where we're like I've I've achieved my learning goals for my life now I'm gonna go into worker mode right and I'm just gonna go work as grown-up versions of ourselves we, we put up this wall against getting new information it's usually because I think we don't like the way we look when we're getting the information when we used to go to school the assumption every day was that we didn't know things right that's why we go to school you you don't know how the human body works therefore you take biology class you don't know how the sky works therefore you take astronomy class but when we're 35 and we've got a mortgage and we've got a family we don't want to go I don't know how things work. I don't know how to do it. I don't have the expertise. I'm not competent. I'm not capable. I'm still learning because no, we feel like we've, we've got to have it together, right? And then we get older and now we're supposed to be older and wiser, right? We don't want to be the old guy who's like, well, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing. That's the stereotype we're trying to guard against when we get old, right? We, we want competence, mental superiority to make up for physical decline when we get older. So, so the older we get on, on this continuum through life, the more there's kind of this inherent bias against learning because part of learning is existing in a state of not knowing and appearing as if we don't know. And it's just a, it's a a real humility um, that basically says if I recognize that I'm either growing or dying that's true in you know biology that's true in in mental development that's literally you're either growing or you're dying um, stagnation is, is synonymous with death in science right physically if I know that I'm either growing or dying and for most human beings growing means either challenging ourselves in relationships or challenging ourselves to acquire new knowledge why then are so many of us wanting to stay in old habits wanting to stay in old loops, not wanting to embrace new patterns, new ideas, and new knowledge, it's because we don't like feeling dumb. We don't like feeling like we look dumb. We feel like we're going to be judged. So I'm trying to call this out because I honestly think that it would just be a whole lot better world if we all went around sort of acknowledging our relative state of ignorance, especially now, basically saying, look, Google, I was already dumb and Google's made me dumber. And so I embrace the process. I'm excited to go through life learning stuff. But I'm also going to suggest that there's another reason why we tend to limit ourselves from learning and from from growing. Growing. There's a risk when we grow that we will outgrow. And, and by outgrow, I mean outgrow others. Outgrow either other things in our lives, you know, habits, jobs, affiliations, people, friends, spouses, whatever. Where I think there's a, a, a real fear in our life of the disruption that's going to come from being bigger, faster, smarter, sexier, cooler, richer, healthier, whatever. And so a lot of times we sabotage ourselves and, and say, I'm just going to stay where I'm at because I don't want to rock the boat on my life. And I especially don't want to rock the boat on other people. When we grow, we run the risk of outgrowing, you know, other people, other places, other things, but especially other people. I want to suggest, and I want to sort of encourage you to look at your life and say, where are the places where growth is an option for me? Where are the places where the version of myself that I see myself as, but what are the things that could close the gap between who I am and how I am right now and that person, right? That vision of my life. It's, and it's gonna be learning. It's gonna be growth, right? And where are the opportunities for that growth? And then what are the forces in my life that are preventing me, discouraging me, or distracting me from pursuing those growth options? That's probably the single most important question that any of us can stop and ask ourselves at any given time, which is, what is it that I need to close the gap between who I am now and who I dreamed I'd be? And what are the forces in my life that are stopping me, prohibiting me, uh, discouraging me, or distracting me from going after that growth and closing that gap. And once you have that information, it's a scary question to ask because once you have that information, now you're convicted. Now you either say, what's, you know, what's more important to me? My, my dream, my possibility for my life, or this relationship, or this person, or this person's insecurities, or inadequacies, or this job, or the, the false sense of security that I get from this job, or this, this connection, or whatever it is. Uh, as soon as you get clear what's stopping you from, from closing that gap between who you are and what you dreamed you'd be, and you have to make a choice. Thanks for your time. I'll catch you on the next video. I hope this has been of value.